All right, so we're going to do something a little different here, Jill. Okay. I need you to get me two colored Glen Cairns. Okay. We're going to blind these next two pours. What? Rick, loved your last video and your dilemma. A table, yeah, that was tough. We're about to pull the table two bottles right now and blind them. Ever been part of the names called up and not had to wait in line? I have not. No, I've never won so any hard. of those lotteries quarterly or the end of the year. Never won. J.O., I've heard a couple of whiskey tubers make an old Forrester 1915. Supposed to be delicious. I have the 1910 and 11. I made it. I didn't like it better than the 1920. Like, I liked it better than the 10. Didn't like it better than the 20. These next two are the two I was most, well, I mean, obviously another E.H. Taylor barrel proof I'm super excited about. But these are the ones that on table two, they had all sorts of stuff. They had stags and wellers and all sorts of things. But I'd never had either of these bottles. And so really? I got these. Yes. Like you've never had a taste of any. Never even tried them. Oh, wow. Um, so, you know, um, you've got the um, Michter's Barrel Strength Rise that I bought a, like right, six of bought, them yeah. at the, uh, at, when we were on our trip. Well, this is a Michter's Barrel Strength Toasted Barrel oh. Rye. So this is the same whiskey, but it's been in a Toasted, toasted Barrel. barrel. Gotcha. Uh, never tried this one before, so excited to try that one. I love every like I love everything Michter's. I like I wish Michter's would sell me barrels of whiskey. I would just buy it by the gallon and by the fifty three gallons, the 53 and gallons. just you know get an IV and wheel it around. I'd be like one of those old women with an oxygen tank. I just have a barrel of Michter's following around behind me. That's a lot you know? of love. Love some Michter's. Um, a lot of love for something. But they don't. I don't think they have a barrel pick program. Mictors, can we do the first? Can I be the first? Can, can I be, be the, the only? I mean, he's willing to tote you around in only? something that is attached to him all the time. <sighs> yeah. So the other bottle we're going to blind here, though, is a heavy hitter. And this is Parker's 10-year-old Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey Cask Strength. So this one is 64.8% or 64.4% alcohol, 128 <laughs> Point eight proof, and this one is 120 proof. So we are, um, and you can't color code it with the green because both of them are green. <laughs> All Everything's green except for this, Glenn. I'm going to step away. Jill is going to pour these for me. Okay. Give me some, give me some decent pour. Like, you ain't got to go cray-cray. Cray-cray. But, cray. like, let's give me, like, we're going to sip on these. These are the ones I'm excited about. We're going to sip on these. Let me hit these super chats real quick. Big Papa Z, keep up the awesome videos. Love the lives. Appreciate it, Papa Z. Sixteen hundred and thirty-nine folks. Hit that's the like button. Crazy. I'd love if we get if we get two K. Like that's that's nuts. <laughs> I know, I know. That's what I'm saying, Cheslin. Appreciate the support there. All right, no so I'm gonna step away. Jill. Jill's going to do it. I'll be able to talk to y'all, so y'all be able to hear me. I'm not gonna mute, but. I'm also not going to be watching because I really am no. excited about this. But give me some decent pours, Jill. Decent pours. All right. Okay. I promise no shenanigans, everybody. I promise. All right. Ooh, that one was better. That one was better. That's a nice cool All right. Pop. Let's see. I don't know what that was. Leave a phone man, so I can it... take a picture of this. So I don't forget which one I poured where. I'm not going to give any shenanigans, I promise. Y'all let me know in the chat. Should we change hats or not? Is this a hat change kind of event? I'll give him enough so I can have a tiny bit. Oh, no shenanigans. I, mean, I can't see still. the chat, but I'll be able to see it when I come in there. But I will have already changed hats What or is he not saying? What is he saying? By the time I get in there to see what y'all decided. So it's going to be fun. I know fun. he's in there talking about me. Uh-oh, that one, that one has way more of a decent pour than the other one. I might want to correct. See, I can't see in that one. I can't see Much crap that she one. gives me is about not being able to see. All right. And then she can't see. I can see. I just goose, can't see what's you know, inside this glass. Good for the gander. All right, you can come back now. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> uh, I ordered this hat. It was supposed to be like an official replica, high-end, high-quality replica of the hat from um, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. 
and it gets here and it's just a, it's a cheap costume hat. Like it's not a like I it's not a high quality hat at all. This is a cheap costume hat. It doesn't really look that bad. It's not what was pictured. That's for sure. Okay, so you got these blinded here. Yep. And all I really got to do is pick out the toasted barrel, and then I know which one. If I, if I pick out a toasted barrel, I know exactly which one's which, but I want to see which one's better. Ooh, that one's oaky. It looks like, a, it looks like Woody. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I've got my, I don't know where my, like, Stetson is. Much better hat than this crap. That one's a lot oakier. That one's a little more subtle. Yeah. That's the toasted barrel. You sure? Oh, I'm I'm positive the blue's okay. the toasted barrel, but the, the problem is is I don't love it. Mm. Mm. I don't love it. Um, it's again the, the word of the night is harsh, but. Yeah. So lots of times, like with the short barrel toast, I get apricot. With that one, it's like these spicy, kind of harsh oak tannins. Ooh. And it's just not pleasant. Like it, it tastes like I put it into a really, like if I put it in one of those tiny little bourbon barrels and aged it for a while, that's what it tastes like. Like it's just, it could be the neck pour, could be the neck pour. Because if that is indeed the toasted, which I assume that's what that harshness is coming from, we'll find out when I try this one, hopefully. Um, I'm just not a fan of it. Hmm. We're going to let it air out here for a second, and we'll come back to it here in just a bit. But let me try what I hope is this Parker's. Much lighter on the nose than that one. Oh, wow. Okay. There's lots of weird things happening in that. I actually like that one. Well, there you go. Try this one. Okay. I think I like this one better. Your taste buds are just whack today, Jill. No, just because they're different from yours does not mean they're whack. This one, it's okay. weird. Because it has a little peanuttiness, which I just don't think I've ever had on a rye. So I don't, like, I just can't recall that almost like brown foreman peanut. That almost like Booker's peanut. Mm. Like it's almost Booker's level peanut on a rye. I just don't think I've ever had that note. And I'm just wondering if my taste buds are out of freaking whack. Mm-hmm. It's getting better. It's still a it's still a little dry and harsh though. You got me a Dr. Pepper. Look at Jill. So prepared. It's actually my Dr. Pepper, but you can have some. Okay. I like that one better. I really do. It just I don't know which smells one smells it like it's got and tastes like it's just got too much of that oak tannins in it. They're neither one of my like fave. I still like the E. H. Taylor better. That, like the thing is though, I guess what what's getting me on this this is not bad, but they took my favorite rye, like my second favorite rye in the entire world at this point, behind the Jack Daniels Limited Edition 2020 Mixer's Barrel Strength is my favorite, and they toasted it, and it's not anywhere near as good. Like if you had the Barrel Strength rye, uh, grab a glint. I don't know. We're trying this. That's the Mictor's Barrel Strength Rye. That's what they did. That's what they put in that toasted barrel. And soiled That's it. That's delicious. Yeah, they soiled it. Yeah. Soiled it. That's not even, it doesn't even Oh, uh, Matt, similar. we'll be in New York on Monday. Um, I don't know if we'll be doing any hunting. We're not going to do any events. We'll do it Monday and Tuesday, right? Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. But, like, I don't, we won't be doing a whole lot while we're there. I got to go there for work. It's like, that's, that's, like, that's what I expected with something interesting happening to it on the toast. That's and delicious. what they did was, is took the best rye on the market that you can actually get, because that limited edition was a one-year only thing, the best rye you might actually find, Wow! and they soiled it. 
I'd have to agree on that because that's delicious. Yes. I don't know which one. You want to see which one's which? <laughs> so which one is which, you think? Oh, which which bottle? Like, which yeah, one? Yeah, we never oh. said which one was which. Blue's the toasted, and this is the Parker's. Correct. So yeah, I mean, that's obvious. The blue is what they took that delicious stuff and did something yes, to. Yes, and, and soiled it, yes. Um, this Parker's is really good. I don't like it as much as the mixture. Like, it's, there's a lot of, like, dark oh, fruit wow, and weirdness going on. Like, this is super complex. It's like peanuts and dark fruit and strangeness. Smell it now, though. What do you get on it now? Just bitter oak tannins. No, like, I, that's all I smell really? there. All I smell are oak tannins. It's just like harsh oak tannins. It's like I just ground up some red oak hardwood flooring. No, I'm getting a little bit of. Haven't had the double eagle there, Josh. I Canada. get a little Appreciate bit it. of like a toasted marshmallow now. Well, so that's going to be like yes, it is a toasted barrel, so it is toasted wood. But like I, I don't know what the difference in what they do. Like their toast must be really light, and then short barrel because short barrel doesn't add a ton of like oakiness it adds a ton of apricot with some some light sweet oak and this adds like just a really subtle like they barely toasted the thing but it yeah i see like it's not really a toasted marshmallow to me it's more like a toasted stick but yeah and if you like that it's getting better the more it sits it gets better but it is just nowhere near as good as oh, this. No. No, There's nowhere near. Plenty in Tennessee bourbon trail trip in July. Going to spend a lot of money and bring home a lot of limited releases. Nice American Andy. Appreciate it. Um, we are we're talking about maybe trying to do some cool things on the on the bourbon trail. Maybe see if we can and, and you know allow some patrons to come hook up with some distilleries, do some cool experiences that you might not be able to get otherwise. All right, so anything Dickel, will it pop? Like, I'm just going to be able to pick that out. So let's see what we can find here, Jill. You see that Derringer up in the corner? Can you slide back there and get that? Or, well, like I, I don't think I can. Okay. Because of my broken toe. You, I don't she's really got a broken think toe. that's a good idea to be toe. standing on a stool. I'm trying to not show my butt crack, Jill. <laughs> okay. You know? I can move out of your way, but. I'm trying very hard to not show my butt crack. Actually, stay in my way. Oh, okay. Stay Hide on. my butt crack. Oh, my gosh. Oh. So the problem is I'm going to knock some glasses over here. Ooh, Rock Hill Farms. That is a pretty bottle. That's a pretty bottle. We're not going for pretty bottles, are we? I thought we were going for awful bottles. I thought we were going for the pretty bottles, but apparently you change it to the ugly bottles. Are, okay. I don't know. So somebody did say pretty bottles. You're yeah. right. Yeah. But worse whiskey. They didn't say anything about worse whiskey. They just said pretty bottles. But the pretty bottles are the worst whiskey. Okay. I mean, some of the worst whiskey, some of the not so great whiskey. So there's there's a pretty bottle right there. And hopefully that is a beautiful. I didn't bottle. show any crack whatsoever. I've got to find my Willet pot still. I think it's in the back. I don't think it ever made it back out here. That's a pretty bottle. What other bottle? We need a third that is equally as beautiful and decorative. And the only thing I think I have is an old Fitz decanter. Yeah, old Fitz. But like, okay, so old Fitz. But like, this is. Again, not a fair fight. Who, who said it was fair? Nobody said it had to be fair. Okay. Fi well, Just who cares? 30 bottles. There you go. Right there. Old Fitz decanter. There is a Blanton's if you want. That's a pretty bottle. Blanton's is a pretty bottle. See if I can find this pot still back here somewhere. Someone said, please take out the old fits. Although it's overrated, it's way more superior to the other two. I, I agree. Like, honestly, if we're just looking for a fair comparison... What other really nice bottle? Like, I agree okay. with that sentiment. So what other nice-looking bottle would go against these two? That would be, we've got some chicken cock over there. This uh, one's a gorgeous bottle. I would, I would say this one is the prettiest bottle. Which one? The Old Fitz. Oh, yeah, of course. It's the prettiest bottle. Love those. It's gorgeous. J-Rock said you're going to pick out the old fits immediately. <laughs> uh, no, that's that's going to be super easy. Like, it's not even a contest. But the worst one wins. Oh, Caribou Crossing? 
Mm, could be that, but that's a Canadian whiskey. Again, kind of kind of different. Uh, I'm trying to see what like really fancy bottles I've got back here. I didn't. So know. we're going for good looking bottles. I've got some ugly bottles, but not like these are not good looking bottles. Most whiskey does not come in like really, Jefferson's really, really Ocean? fancy bottles. What'd they say? Jefferson's Ocean. I mean, that's a bottle. <laughs> it's a bottle. I don't know if it's the best looking bottle, but it's, it's definitely it's a, a bottle. bottle. I mean, it's, it's a it bottle. definitely goes in the category of bottle. <sighs> it comes in a bottle for sure. Someone okay. said 13th colony question mark. I mean, that was one that I was sitting here looking at, but also... What's the proof on those? Those are low proof, aren't they? I don't know. So I got something here that might work. Uh, 94 for the pot steel. And uh, the Derringer is 92. All right, so what about smoke we wagon. toss Here's in it. a smoke wagon? Exactly someone what said I think. Did someone say yeah, someone we said We toss in a wagon. smoke wagon. Like we don't have a lot of good bottle options here, okay? Right. But look, what we can do though is give y'all a close up. Look at there. Wow! Look at that. We're gonna share these because I don't want a lot of any of this. Well, you're gonna pour them blind oh, in the I'm colored blind in you? Oh. And then you could drink all you want. I'm blind in you. Okay. All right. I cannot see how much of this I'm pouring in that. Like I literally can't even see it. It is very, very hard to see. That's probably way too much. I probably should pour some of that back in the bottle. All right, so y'all let me know which one of these you think is gonna be the worst one. Which bottle do you think's the worst out of these? This is a pretty good contest. Like I think Smoke Wagon is the best one I, out of I these. Poured if I just much. had to guess, Smoke Wagon's the best one and I, I like, I mean, that's good MGP. That's, I would consider Smoke Wagon a good whiskey and I would buy another bottle, whereas I wouldn't buy another bottle of these other two. At least not these same releases. Now this, uh, the pot still we've got up there is pretty old. That's, I think it's changed substantially and that one's, that one's probably four years old, five years old, maybe older than that. Okie dokie, we're ready. You done? Yep, ready, ready, ready. I pour too much, but. Oh, know. there's no such thing, Jill. Oh, yeah, there is. No such thing. Oh, there is. I promise. So now we got a decent hand. Aw. Now we got a decent hand. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, this one, smoke wagon. This one. Might be off. I think that's the Derringer, and that's the pot steel. No, I don't remember. Hold on. <laughs> Just by smelling, huh? All right. You said what now? This dark one, smoke wagon. This one, not sure. I went Derringer, but it, it's getting better. It had a harshness when I first smelled it. This one's the one that's the most off. I said pot still on that one, but I might have those backwards. That one's got a grassy note on it. Do you have I right on my guess? Like, no. No, okay, cool. Um, I probably got those backwards. Large Colonel Sanders? Come on, man. You look nothing like Colonel Sanders. He's talking about the hat. Oh. <laughs> the hat, dude, the hat. Oh, the hat. The hat. I wished it would hold a little bit more of a bend. It just will not. It just, you know, if it would do that, I'd be cool. But it, it's going to go flat. Okay. What I need is a farm and a tractor, and I'm good to go. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Like I, I don't dislike that, but it's got a little harshness to it. Don't love the finish on it. That definitely tastes like MGP to me, though. This one smells rough. Okay, so that, that's the Willet. And that's the Derringer. So 
Um, I just have these backwards. This by far the best. Now I got to pick the worst one. Oh Lord. <laughs> the grassy note or this harshness. Wow. Uh. It's weird how you go back to it and then it changes, right? Ah, uh, you passed on OE cigar cut. I didn't like the OE cigar cut. The Joseph Magnus is fantastic. Honestly, the RY3 cigar blend, not Joseph Magnus level, but was a really good bottle of whiskey too. I don't think pot still's the worst. I don't think pot still's the best. This is tough. You're picking out the worst. I like that one the best. Okay. So, is that the smoke wagon? Yes. Okay, that's good. Take the pressure off because it was like, well, if I didn't pick the, like that one's hands down better than these other two. And if that wasn't the smoke wagon, the folks from smoke wagon are going to be sending me a car bomb or something tomorrow. <laughs> That is my bike. I'd be getting some nasty grams in the mail. We'd never be able to do anything with them. Um, so like I said, I think this is like taste. Smelling them, I was kind of guessing. This one definitely tastes like a Willet. It's got that kind of spiciness. But I'm trying to figure out which one I like the least, and it's, it's a close race. Mm. I think I like this one. This one's got more going on, more flavor, a little more like herbalness to it. I don't love it, but this one is kind of grassy and light and citrus, but like like lemon citrus, not like orange citrus. And so I I crown this one the worst out of these three. And, and you this think it this is. is the Derringer. You're right. Yeah. Correct. You are correct. Uh, yeah, just grassy kind of, like you try it. You try it. Try those. Higher white, well, so cigar blends are typically going to be a blend of finished whiskeys, right? So Armagnac, Cognac finished, that kind of that thing blended. Good. The RY3 is, I think, a rye that's been finished in a bunch of things, but it's really good. I have, I have a bottle of Old Forster King Ranch. Not my thing. Didn't love it. But again, like, Charcoal, was it mesquite charcoal mellowed? Just didn't love it. Uh, Santos, we'll probably do um, San Jose next week and uh, Reno, Nevada. So definitely got some coming. I know, that's what I'm saying, Daniel. It's crazy. We still got 1,200 folks hanging out. We set a record. We had, what, 15, 1,600 people on this stream tonight, which is crazy. What'd you think? Yeah, I like the pot still better. Like yeah, that. yeah, that's, but then try this one. That smoke wagon is good, but I don't know if I would, like, it would not be my go-to. But it's, it's good. This one's lower proof. MGP, nice, sweet whiskey, great mouthfeel to it. Like, I liked it. Like, that's a good whiskey. Um, I think the Uncut Unfiltered is going to be better, but I didn't bring that one out because I wanted a fair contest. Will it pot still? Yes, will it pot still? Well, no, actually, the pot still came in second. So the um, Derringer. This guy won for worst. Best bottle and the worst whiskey out of that lineup. Not not of all times. There are worse whiskeys out there. This is just not for me. I, I hate I hate saying bad things about anybody's whiskey. I really do. Uh, it's not what we're here for. We're not trying to knock down any brand or anything, but people ask my opinion and I want to be honest. Like I can't not be honest. Sometimes if it's really bad, I try to just not review it. But we did get 22 million views on this bottle, so they already hate me. <laughs> oh, that Parker's just gets better though. Oh. Like smell that. And on the finish, I'm trying to I'm trying to place what that note is. 
but it is just a really interesting sweetness on, on the nose, like right at the end. It is crazy. Yeah. Do you regret your table two picks? Mm. No. Um, so regret's a strong word. I like, did I get the best bottles I could have gotten on table two? No, I did not. But I would rather have these on the bar to share with people because a lot of folks will come over. We, you know, we have get togethers here quite frequently and okay. The lights are doing weird things. I know. Um, <laughs> but like all me. those are flickering, not just these. It was kind of strange. Well, I know that's what I'm saying. Uh, um, the pole. Yeah. We, we, somebody had an accident across the street last night at two o'clock and we've been up since two o'clock this yeah. morning because somebody uh, rolled their car, took out a power pole in there, snapped it in half and then caught on fire. About two o'clock this two morning. Two o'clock this morning. I, they got they they survived. I don't know how they're doing this morning. We uh, hope but they're doing well. Anyway, table two picks. I don't regret them. Like I, I could have got a stag. I could have got. But honestly, all those other bottles I would have wanted on table two, I have. And now I've got a little better variety. And I I think this Parker's could be nice. It's like I just have never had those flavors on a rye. So it's going to take me a little bit to wrap my noodle around that one. Um, not loving this one as much as I just love these other ones, but still not regret. Man, I like variety. I index on variety. That's good. That just gets better. A lot of the harshness, the peanuts starting to kind of blend. It is good. Again, it's just getting better and better. Peanut's still there. I so just nice. can't come up with the words. It's it's cotton candy. It is peanuts and cotton candy. That is what it is. It is like a sweet cotton candy flavor on the finish for me. So it hits me, and it's the weirdest combination mm. of flavors I've ever had in my entire life. It hits me with peanuts and then like a su super sugary sweet cotton candy on the finish. It is strange. We got a thousand freaking likes on this live stream. There's 1,169 people in here right now, and I bet you 400 of them have not hit the like button. <laughs> I wish they would. That would be fun to see, but they're not going to do it. I appreciate y'all thinking about it, but I know you're not going to. The 400 of you that haven't hit it already. Hmm. I don't know what that is. It's cotton candy. It is peanuts and cotton candy, which is like they don't go good together. Peanuts and cotton candy. If you get some peanut flavored cotton candy, you need to leave that festival because I swear to God, you're going to die on one of those carnival rides, okay? <laughs> All right, that's one of those that's going to spin. It's going to flip over. Somebody's going to get decapitated. Caramel corn. Okay. Caramel corn. Yeah. We're all in on carnival games. That might be. I, I, like, I, I've got it compartmentalized into peanuts and cotton candy. You're probably just blending them together a little bit there if you're going to go. I didn't say caramel corn. Um. No, no, I, I mean, yeah. I bet, like... But I can see that. You can see that. Yeah. Like, the, the, if, you, if you blended the peanuts with the cotton candy, yeah. I see where you could get that kind of caramel corn sweetness. Yes. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> corn dog note? No. And it's wheat. Like, it is just... It is unusual, strange. I love it, but I got to be in the mood for it. Like, I'm just trying to come to it every once in a while. Yeah. Because it has all sorts of strange things going on. And I'm going to leave that. You want this? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pour it into our blend here to try to get rid of that crap we just poured in there. 